Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the language, region, time, and date settings on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is right click on the date and time in your taskbar, and then select adjust date and time. By default, time is usually set automatically. You can toggle this to the off position. And then you have plenty of settings now you can manually adjust, such as adjusting for daylight savings time automatically, as well as adjusting the time zone settings. Where it says set the date and time manually, if you select change, you can adjust the date and time settings here as well, if you want to do a manual change. And if you want to go scroll down, you can go underneath language and settings, which we'll go to in a minute. But you can also change the time zone, which is one other thing I wanted to mention up here as well. So anyway, going back underneath additional settings, and then related settings, we're going to go select for us as language and region. Go ahead and left click on that. So if you want to change the display language, you can click on the drop down. It'll show you all of the installed languages on your machine. If you want to add new languages, you could select the add a language button. And then you search for the list of languages here. And then you would search through the list of languages here. And you would select the local dialect as well. And then you would select it and then select next and you go through the installation process. It could take some time, again, especially languages, it can take a pretty long time. It's a decent size download. On this page too, you can also set your default display language, so it takes effect right away. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys, and then I believe you would have to restart your computer for the changes to take effect if you were changing the display language. But pretty straightforward process. I do apologize for the help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.